astonishing extraterrestrial mineral has been found in Israel and is thought to be harder than diamonds. Well, up to now, we thought diamonds were the hardest mineral on Earth. That seems to be changing after this has been found. This is by Breitenberg on Disclosed TV. January 16, 2019. Israeli mining company Shefa Yamim has found a new mineral that has never been discovered before on Earth. Well, here it is now. It was discovered in the northern mountains of Israel while working in the Zevulun Valley close to Mount Carmel. This new mineral has caused a stir in the rock world and uh, petrology and has caused significant excitement for geologists all over the world. And now, what's the big deal about this? What's, well, it's true that the International Mineralogical Association regularly approves new minerals for its official list of up to 100 new substances added almost every year. This newly discovered mineral from Israel was previously thought to occur only on extraterrestrial material and not on planet Earth, which means that it's quite a significant event. Now, what is this new mineral? The new mineral, which has many similarities to allandite, which is a mineral that was first discovered in the allandite meteorite that fell to Earth February 1969, no mineral like this has ever been found to naturally occur on Earth until now. The substance has been named Carmel Tazite after the location of its discovery, Mount Carmel in Israel, as well as the minerals contained within the structure, titanium, aluminum, and zirconium. The structure of this new strange material can be seen in the diagram in this floor, if you'd like to see it if you're a chemist. Carmel Tazite site was found embedded in cracks within sapphire, which is the second hardest mineral to occur naturally on Earth after the diamonds. First is diamonds, next is sapphire. So it was found embedded in the cracks in the sapphire. It closely resembles the minerals of sapphire and ruby, ruby and comes in a variety of different colors such as black, blue-green, orange-brown with a metallic hue. With similar chemical compositions and looks, it can also be used as a gemstone set in jewelry, just like diamonds. Now, could this be the new diamond? After scientists completely completed the density composition testing, it's been discovered that carmeltazite is a lot rarer and harder than diamonds, which makes it much more sought after and much more expensive. The formation was similar to that of diamonds, the, reg the region close to Sevulon Valley is renowned for volcanic activity dating back to the Cretaceous period that's home to at least 14 volcanic vents there, and they created the geological conditions needed over long periods of time. It's thought that the mineral was formed 18 miles below the surface of the Earth, near the crust mantle boundary. The conditions needed are high temperatures and high pressures that produce partially molten rocks that release fluids and then react to form new materials. And it's very rare. To date, caramel tazite has not been found anywhere else apart from this valley. It's extremely rare, and the current largest find is around 33.3 3 carats. Furthermore, the mining company has trademarked it the Carmel Sapphire, as they were originally mining for sapphire. This will most likely stick with it for a very long time, has this been only is the only source of where to find it? With the fact in uh, with that fact in mind, it has now become the rarest mineral in the world, and will almost certainly become the most expensive. It's a beautiful substance. Rarity also adds to its allure. It will probably only be something that a very wealthy can enjoy, and little else is known about it. It could be that this is the only source on Earth, and once it's gone, it's gone. As more tests are done on it and more research into the origin and mining, hopefully we'll be able to find out a little bit more about it, and only time will tell. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse 
and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.